at around 1954, somewhere in the tea plantations of Kipkelion in Kericho County, a story is told of white settler farmers who met every so often to exchange ideas on how to manage their plantations better. It is here that an idea was born. This idea led to the formation of East African Management Forum and later, after independence, this noble idea beautifully morphed to become the Kenya Institute of Management. Uh, the Kenya Institute of Management is a management development uh, organization that was started in 1954 with the intention of bringing the best management practices to the organizations and to the professionals in this country. It started then as uh, the East African Management Forum uh, and then it uh, transited to the Kenya Institute uh, of Management. KIM has made an indelible mark in this country in terms of training managers, training officers and also in terms of organizational development and capacity building. And since its inception in 1954, we've trained a lot of people uh, at the certificate level, at the diploma level, and not just in this country, Kenya, but also beyond. I was the secretary of the organization that existed before the Kenya Institute of Management, which was called, if I remember rightly, the Management Forum, where we discussed various things um, one of the subcommittees of the management forum on which I served was the question of housing one's junior staff and middle range of staff and the, the late Tom and Boyer was the chair of that particular committee. As a platform for imparting managerial and leadership skills, the relevance of an institute of management such as the Kenya Institute of Management is as real today as it was then. The key, the key purpose of um, starting an issue of management is to create a forum where managers could come and exchange ideas on how best to manage their organizations. This is because people were never trained to be managers. People were becoming managers accidentally. They, they developed into managers or they were forced into management. So the purpose of the institute was to link that, to close that gap so that we understand the managerial challenges that our members were having and try to arrange appropriate interventions. Kenya Institute of Management was giving first a platform for people who had not gone to the university and they wanted somebody somewhere to recognize and to give their know-how to a group of people who get together. The Kenya Institute of Management has over the years enjoyed the privilege of working closely with some of the most celebrated and patriotic leaders of this nation. These leaders not only believed in the vision and role of the Institute in national development, but also became proud flag bearers of leadership at various levels, most importantly as patrons and national chairpersons. They include the late Tom Boyer, the late Robert Ouko, His Excellency, the former President Mwai Kibaki, Professor Anyang Nyongo, Dr. Jo Wanjui, to name but a few. As a professional membership organization, KIM is governed by a council that is elected every three years. And then we've got two categories of membership. We've got the individual and corporate level. Corporate level comprises of organizations, uh, businesses and companies, whereas the individual level has four categories. We've got the student, we've got the full membership, we've got the associate, and we've got the highest level, which is the fellowship, and this is by invitation. Currently, we have about 100 uh, fellows, and these are distinguished uh, members of the institute and uh, senior citizens who have provided uh, exemplary service in the management practices. When I was chairman, I was so determined to see KIM reach into the upper levels of management, which it really hadn't been, that I coined the slogan, reaching up, reaching out. I wanted KIM to be more outward looking and more aspirational in reaching senior management. The Institute has grown from its negligible infancy to become a center of excellence, developing managers and leaders, not only for Kenya, but also the East African region. Today, thousands of these leaders continue to build strong institutions 
and businesses the world over. Our students were being acclaimed, acclaimed all over, you know. The industry wanted that KIM person. Institutions that subscribe to best uh, or to principles of best practice uh, in terms of what it is that they do. And we believe that again, courtesy of membership services, KIM has been able to add value to various institutions. A person, a job. Ranked among the foremost institutes in Africa, the Kenya Institute of Management is today a hub of management and leadership excellence and the trusted management trainer of choice providing high-quality professional and institutional development programs in the region. Professional diplomas and certifications offered by the Institute School of Management have become landmark training tools for graduates, the working class and entrepreneurs in all sectors of the economy. We go for the best in the market. We ensure that we delight our customers by our good service. We ensure the best is uh, received by our clients and the customers. So our learning process is not just uh, the theoretical bit, we also include a lot of practicals in our, in our learning. And a big component of the examination is work-based. So it means you must think practically of the things that you learn in class. Our faculty is a good mix of people in the field and also people in the academia, giving you a very balanced uh, model uh, of learning. These certifications build onto or into academic qualifications and professional experience making Kenya Institute of Management graduates not only the choice of every employer but also employers in their own businesses. We are looking at starting with those who are coming from straight from Form 4 and they, they, they want to um, ground themselves on matters management and the moment they join they are able to start from the lowest and be able to finish their diploma and our diploma note has eight areas of specialization so they have a portfolio of specializations or areas of focus to to choose from for the university students we invite them to join our programs because they'll not only differentiate them they'll make them more employable and for those who choose to join to do their own businesses, then this also prepares them to handle their own organizations uh, professionally. And again, we have those who are working already, those who are in the corporate world, um, middle and um, top management in the corporate world. We also uh, consider them as our students and we train them in uh, management skills. With a strong network of 22 branches across the country, Thousands of Kenyans in the counties can benefit from the Institute's premium management training programs. The result of this is enhanced professional capacity and institutional effectiveness and performance. Uh, growth of KIM, uh, talk about democratization. We democratized KIM by going out to, out to the rural areas. To, we had more centers opened. It wasn't just Nairobi. It wasn't just Nairobi, Kisumu and Mombasa. It was just with Thika, with the Nyeri, with Machakos, with Nakuru, all this, you know. So we went places and the students, student numbers increased. The Kenya Institute of Management's programs are validated by the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, Technical and Vocational Education and Training Authority, as well as the National Industrial Training Authority, NITA. At the core of the Kenya Institute of Management existence is professional membership. With about 8,000 individual members and about 700 corporates, both public and private, the Kenya Institute of Management, a professional membership body, is undoubtedly a vibrant home for managers, providing numerous platforms and programs for learning, sharing, and networking. These members participate in the Institute's governance framework. Essentially, at the core of our existence, we are a membership organization. And we offer membership uh, and management development services to our members, who are both individuals or these are professionals who want to be better in what it is that they do. Apart from membership development programs, the Institute offers a rich portfolio of capacity solutions. The Kenya Institute of Management Professional Diploma in Management is a unique program that has eight areas of practice to choose from as specializations. 
Our research and consultancy solutions aim at assisting institutions achieve operational excellence, act strategically and become more competitive in their spaces. We spearhead research that is uh, geared uh, at uh, product development, product improvement, uh, by conducting uh, such uh, bespoke uh, uh, research uh, uh, services like uh, uh, feasibility studies, market analysis, uh, uh, doing business intelligence for various uh, strategic business units. Uh, for example, uh, we, conduct, uh, we conduct research on our uh, training uh, customers uh, every year before we can develop uh, the training calendar so that uh, uh, whatever comes out of uh, that research, uh, that uh, training and consultancy calendar uh, is informed by uh, the customer needs and uh, is uh, tailored uh, towards delivering uh, what our customers expect of us. This division was set up to address the growing need of continuous skills development in the areas of leadership, management and governance. Our programs are cutting edge programs that address the need for the leaders in this country, the middle level management and the support staff. The Institute also offers a range of SME solutions with the sole intention of making its contribution in growing and scaling up this sector, which is the engine of the economy. The Institute's Management Magazine is a monthly publication for sharing best practices in business, management and leadership. For over 16 years, the Kenya Institute of Management has been at the helm of running the prestigious Company of the Year Awards, Koya, which incorporates the SME of the Year Awards, Koya, which was inaugurated in 2000, was informed by the need to celebrate the great things Kenyan companies are doing amidst very tough political and economic circumstances. One of the most famous things that we did was the Company of the Year Awards, where we, put, we, we would go into a company, try to assess how the company is performing, and try to say this is the best performing company in terms of management. Uh, and, and we'd have a big gala night where we'd present awards it was like a meeting of the captains of industry. We would have people like 2,000 senior people, managers, coming to, to, to that function. It would attract very important chief guests. And we felt that we were really rejuvenating the management practices in the country. The, the thing that galvanized me was Koya Awards. And we then started finding out the best of the best people and management were mm. showing their talents. Mm. And not only showing their talent, but were available to show others. And for, for the first time, we started seeing in Kenya a top quality of businesses, a top quality of managers, a top quality of finance controllers. And that was what KIM's really top uh, uh, mm, uh, contribution is the company of the year was overall winners crown paints kenya limited <laughs> in 2008 the kenya institute of management developed the organizational performance index opi a model with a tool that measures the extent of business excellence and global competitiveness in organizations the first in Africa and well benchmarked against global business excellence models, OPI has grown to become a key driver of excellence and competitiveness in Kenyan companies. OPI scores are used to determine the winners at Koya and Smoya. The OPI model uh, focuses on the seven determinants uh, that was actually established after a thorough research and of course study into the other business excellence models globally. And we found out that uh, these seven areas are key drivers of competitiveness. The beauty about the OPI process is that uh, it helps organizations to benchmark themselves against global uh, standards. And of course, as they do that, they're able to enhance their business processes towards sustainability year after year. Now, the OPI scores are what we now use 
to determine the winners in the Company of the Year Award, Square, and of course also the SME of the Year Award. Many companies have over the years leveraged learnings from this award and now use OPI to enhance business results, with some SMEs using the lessons and scaling up to join big companies. As an institute, this has been a humbling experience with lessons galore. These lessons and knowledge from OPI and Koya form a core foundation in designing the Kenya Institute of Management training programs and conferences. Every year, thousands of managers across all sectors of the economy attend our programs for professional development to boost their value and relevance in their institutions. Talking about benefits uh, that the OPI process brings to organizations, we have heard exciting testimonials from companies that have embraced the OPI model uh, to the level that uh, they are saying their bottom line has grown by over 20 percent. Uh, we've seen lots of changes in terms of strategy formulation. Uh, we have seen the process driving serious culture change in such organizations because the beauty about the process is that uh, we help you drive this process by developing the people within the organization. And as that is done, then they get revitalized energy to focus on strategy execution towards business excellence. As a result of our work in promoting excellence and integrity in the management practice, the Kenya Institute of Management has received global accolades. In 2013, the Institute scooped the European Awards for Best Practices, a recognition by the European Society for Quality Research. The Institute was also nominated for the Europe Business Assembly Awards, EBA, by EBA Partners in 2013 and 2014. The Kenya Institute of Management was awarded the Golden European Award for Quality and Commercial Prestige by Otherways Management Association Club in 2014. As part of our dedication to shape management and leadership thoughts, theory and practice, the Kenya Institute of Management established a university the Management University of Africa, MUA. The vision of the university is to provide innovation, leadership and management solutions to industries and communities in Africa and beyond. MUA has grown exponentially, attracting a rich global faculty and leaders as students. As KIM, we're the proud owners and sponsors of the Management University of Africa, which is also popularly well known as MUA. Uh, with its campus in South Sea and uh, with land being developed in Kisaju to have a full-fledged uh, campus offering both undergraduate and postgraduate courses uh, mainly in the business sector. The Management University of, uh, of Africa which is uh, the focus in the next uh, two or three years to make sure that it is stable and it is properly uh, capitalized so that it can be able to pursue academic pursuits in the area of leadership, governance and, uh, and, and management. MUA has grown exponentially, attracting a rich global faculty and leaders as students. As an institute whose core values include excellence, integrity, innovativeness, entrepreneurship and collaboration, the Kenya Institute of Management has endeavored to make its contribution in creating solutions to African problems through national and continental dialogues that influence policy and leadership. Uh, let me begin by commending the Kenya Institute of Management for being in the forefront in organizing these conventions because they not only discuss issues that affect our daily lives, but also bring in diversity of uh, leaders, the business community, government, uh, and other practitioners to exchange views, but also craft uh, responses and the mechanisms to confront these challenges. Through the Kenya Institute of Management's annual conferences and conventions on governance, management and leadership, thematic areas on national development, entrepreneurship and wealth creation, health, security, corruption and governance are discussed. 
These gatherings have seen great African minds and leaders come together to advance a conversation on a well-managed and prosperous Africa. It is now clear acceptance and recognition that Africa must industrialize, without which we'll be here talking about peace and security year in, year out. As a hub of management and leadership excellence, we recognize the important place of research as a tool in management. The Institute has published various research findings and organized research conferences. Some of the research papers have been published in the Kenya Institute of Management's Management Magazine. In a highly globalized economy, the Kenya Institute of Management firmly believes in collaborations with like-minded institutions for synergistic initiatives in the spirit of continuous improvement, learning and growth. The success and sound heritage of KIM has been as a result of dedicated effort, diligence, persistent focus by past councils, fellows, executive directors, management and staff who have received tremendous support from some of our key stakeholders including members, faculty, students and even suppliers and consultants who have continued to support our brand and programs thereby maintaining the strong brand that KIM has in the marketplace. And some of this has, support has come during very turbulent times. There are people who have served in the various governance uh, instruments of the Institute, providing strategic leadership. The governance instrument of the University, providing uh, the strategic direction. Uh, the Institute, uh, on behalf of the Institute, we remain uh, forever indebted to, to, to those persons. And I must thank each one of them very much. Our partners include CASNEB, the Institute of Six Sigma Professionals, Chartered Quality Institute, Malaysia Productivity Corporation, MPC, and the European Foundation for Quality Management, EFQM. The Institute has grown as an authentic and recognizable local brand and no doubt continues to make its mark in shaping the destiny of this nation. We are proud of our achievements and we thank all our members, customers, partners, the Council and all members of the past and present governance organs, lecturers, consultants and staff for the pivotal role they have played. We look forward to more partnerships towards building a formidable institute of the future, one that will make a bigger contribution in developing better leaders, well-managed institutions, as well as a prosperous Kenya and Africa as a whole. For over half a century, the Kenya Institute of Management, whose mission is to steer and champion excellence, integrity and competitiveness in individuals and organizations throughout Africa and beyond, has been that trusted partner, developing institutions and thousands of managers who are at the top of their game locally, regionally and globally. We are proud. The Kenya Institute of Management takes pride in this achievement and you too can be part of this great heritage. KM is a very important institute in this country. It has so much to offer managers at all levels in all parts of the Republic. But it can't do it without members who are active and members who contribute and through contributing benefit. So I do urge all managers, whether it's of a micro enterprise or a major institution, a major corporate, multinational, whatever it is, parastatal, do dip in to KIM, experience it, and benefit from it. We have uh, world class quality men and women that uh, can manage things uh, at the community level, mm. at the national level, mm. at the regional level in Africa, and indeed at the global level. It's an institute of management. Nothing works orderly unless you manage it proper. If you don't manage it proper, nothing works. Well, now you know just a little bit about the institute that is shaping the continent on matters management. In the journey of life, everyone delights in walking with a trusted partner. For over half a century, the Kenya Institute of Management 
whose mission is to steer and champion excellence, integrity and competitiveness in individuals and organizations throughout Africa and beyond, has been that trusted partner, developing institutions and thousands of managers who are at the top of their game locally, regionally and globally. We are proud of this achievement and you too can be part of this great heritage. Welcome to the Kenya Institute of Management and see you at the top. 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 See you at the top.